Hi guys, welcome back. This is attempt 4 of my Game to Legend series for, for the November 2014 ranked play season. I'll be using my Dear Nation version 2 deck again because, well, it's been doing well to me so far. It got me to rank 1 5 stars. Now, since it got me to rank 1 5 stars, why not just use it in this Game of Legend? So, I ho I'm really hoping this guy's a handlock. Because Zoo, this deck doesn't do well with Zoo if we don't have a fiery war axe. So right now I'm looking at his Mulligan. If he Mulligans all his cards, then it's probably Hanlock. Now I don't know whether it's Hanlock or Zoo. Right now, I'm not sure which one. So I keep a Civil Gold in case of Zoo. I keep Execute in case of Hanlock. But not that top deck became Hunter off of the Mulligan. I'm really hoping it is handlock. And look at this. It's a handlock. He passes turn one. He's gonna tap turn two. Yep, it's a handlock. Rank one or two legend handlock. So right now I'm hoping that this guy does have some ridiculous stuff two mountains and two molten's because two of those will survive. I have only two answers. I need to get one of my two owls in the deck to do a Twilight Drake. Now, he puts an Ancient Watcher. That Ancient Watcher could get Shadow Flame, which kills all my armors with immediately. Also, if I play Unstable Ghoul here, he might Hellfire, which clears my whole board also. Therefore, I'll just keep the two arms as I have on board and just armor pass. Now, Night Baby Giant. And waste the soul fire on an armsmith. I'm happy, really happy. Armsmith trained in two for one. Amazing. So right now I'm just big and hunter. Huge spring of tempo. This this just incredible. I'm big and hunter armor up. Bam. I have more control. I have the health lead. And I dealt with the handlocks the first big minion. In case you don't know, handlocks don't really have many big minions. Most of their deck is just situational cards like Seven Soul, Hellfire, Shadow Flame, Mortal Coil. That's most of it. Therefore, if you deal with their big minions effectively, the other minions are pretty simple to deal with. Now, I top deck my Death Spike. Top deck, I'm reckoning. I'll use my Death Spike to save my Big Game Hunter. Of course, this allows Mortal Coil on my Big Game Hunter. But if he doesn't have Mortal Coil, on the odd chance he doesn't have Mortal Coil. Well, that, that's an amazing move. I'll probably just trade in for his ancient watch. But of course, like always, all handlocks have mortal oil. So yeah. They also play that turn instead of playing Death Bite, with training both of their minions into a sludge belcher and playing Load Them. But then, the one two um, slime from the sludge belcher's death trap will call him an armor smith, which I don't like at all. So right now, I'm just i he might develop a taunt on those ancient watchers. Now if I play Harrison Jones here and trade with his ancient watchers one or one. I do not like that. Also he could help fight one of those ancient watchers, although that would probably be a bad play on his part. Therefore, right now I'm debating between Harrison and Lothar. I will most like oh, well I chose Harrison. Well then, that's that's another, uh, I guess during this recording, I think of Defender of Argus. So if he defends Argus here, if he does, then that by far would be a great move. But he plays Ragnaros and Sulfide. Uh, it's iffy, loads up between Harrison last turn. That was an iffy play. But there's two. Situations. If you vote for the Harrison, then you might say, oh well, he so fights it, he loses one card. Harrison traded two for one. That might be the only time Harrison trades two for one. If play Lothab, the rack might hit Lothab instead of Harrison, and things will go disastrously. So, both plays were fine, technically, despite the outcome. Now I play Lothab, though, because if he does Defenders of Argus one minion, that's terrible value for him. And, yeah, I, I had to execute 
the the rag, of course. So the two plays in that turn were execute and Sylvanas, or rec execute armor and Lothab. Execute armor and Lothab uh, allows me to have a more efficient mana curve. Although if I did play the Sylvanas, it'll probably just owl it, which is just a huge loss of tempo on my part. Therefore, now that I play the Sylvanas here, because I have no other play, I'd play just instead of gold armor. That's just too slow. So I just play the Sylvanas here. If it gets owl, I'm fine. That's the only play. I was hoping to top deck a Yasira or a big minion, but it would probably just get seven sold. I was, I guess, right. It, it attracted an owl. So in this turn, I top deck hunger. Choices between this turn are cool task owl, ignore it, play rag cool task, play hogger cool task. There are plenty of choices, but you'd be involved hogger and rag. I didn't use cool task here because if I get Grom and a minion survives, I will most likely have the result. That's why I didn't play Grom. I could have just cool task the owl, but then Hellfire Mortal Coil destroy me. It's the only basically option to clear this board. Is a Hellfire, which leaves a 4 1 Hogger. So he needs Hellfire and Mortal Coil, or Shut Off Flame, a 4 attack mini. Unless he wants to trade his Owl into my Hogger, then all he needs is the Sun Fear Protector to Shut Off Flame, or another Owl. So right now, it's pretty difficult. He needs some combos to clear my board. Let's see if he can do that. He drew most of his deck. I have, if he clears my board, I have Ragnaros to back it up. Looks like he'll use Hellfire. Now, I still have my 4-1 Hogger. What will he do? He will just ignore it? Alright, now I hope I can get my Owl. Owl is, oh, I didn't get my Owl. Never get my Owl. I put two Owls in every end. But of course, I play Rag. Yellow Rag. My Rag always hits face. Always is the right target, I mean. If face is the right target, it's face. If a minion is the right target, if it's his face, or if it's his minion. But either way, rag's fine. And of course, my rag is guard RNG in his face. GG, my friend. That's what you get for not killing my hugger. Oh, they probably couldn't. So, I'm a legendary. Rank 179. Legendary. So, I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you back. When uh, I maybe get Ledger Ring 1. <laughs> See you later.